हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर गोविंद राय गर और डॉक्टर गोवा सो द नीट पीजी एग्जाम ऑफ 2024 हैज बीन कंडक्टेड रिसेंटली इट वाज कंडक्टेड इन टू शिफ्ट्स मॉर्निंग एंड इवनिंग सो टिल द टाइम एग्जाम हैज बीन कंडक्टेड द स्टूडेंट्स हैव कैप्ट मी आस्किंग के हाउ दे विल गिव द रैंक्स बिकॉज़ द डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ बोथ द सेशंस वाज नॉट इक्वल वन वाज रिलेटिवली इजीयर वन वाज रिलेटिवली डिफिकल्ट so it does not make sense that if we give the ranks according to the marks in the difficult exam marks are assumed to be lesser as compared to the easier exam so i will try to make the process of normalization which will be adopted by the nba for uh, neat pg exam so how they will apply this process what is actually this process so for understanding normalization we need to understand the assumption behind it so basic assumption is that suppose you are given a paper so there will be some marks obtained by some marks obtained by others also but they do not depend upon marks so what they rely on is your percentile so what is percentile in simple means is that how many percentage of students are below you so in easier word aap se niche kitne percent log hain now i will try to make you understand percentile in simple terms Suppose 100 students appear in an exam, and you get five rank. Your rank is five. So what does that mean? 95 people are below you. So 95 out of 100. That means 95 percentile you will get. So percentile tells how many percentage of students are below you. So how we will calculate the percentile is total number of students minus your rank. divided by total number of students and then make it percentage by multiplying it by 100 so i have taken the numerator a uh, denominator 100 to make it easy okay so in the neat pg there were two shifts in the first shift nearly 1 lakh student appeared in the second shift nearly 1 lakh student i am saying nearly so number of students were almost equal but not exactly equal so the percentile will be different with the same rank in both the days okay so what the assumption made by the neat pg people for giving the ranks will be they will consider that if you are getting the fifth rank it does not matter but you are getting 95 percentile means that 95 percent of the people are below you 95 percent of the students are below you so the same set of students had appeared for the evening exam even then 95 percent of the student would have been below you similarly in the second shift if the students give the first shift exam same percentile will come so that is an assumption which is made so it is made that according to percentile rank so you will get the actual rank okay so how it will be conducted so first of all shift 1 and shift 2 it will be dealt with separately like shift 1 students who have given the exam in the morning their marks will be arranged in the sequence then their rank will be given in the sequence and then the percentile will be calculated so percentile i have already told you how to calculate so what is important i have assumed that the shift 1 paper was given by 1 lakh students and shift 2 paper was given by 1 lakh and 1000 students so slight difference i have kept so percentiles will be calculated so if we see that 50th percentile means 50% students are below that means out of 1 lakh 50000 will be below so 50000 rank for 50th percentile the same is done here so i have kept the marks also slightly different like the rank 1 in the morning shift suppose it he gets 730 and in evening shift he gets 725 it may be anything so i have just randomly written the numbers so now they do not consider these marks these marks or even these ranks so what will be considered for normalization is the percentile score percentile score of both the shifts will be considered so you will arrange these percentile into sequence so first of all shift 1 percentile shift 2 percentiles now keep the percentiles in sequence like it is 99.999 this is 99.99901 so this is one and it will be kept below this so this is in blue this is in yellow so what i have kept is we have arranged them together so this is 99.99901 so this was in the second shift so this was in the first shift then second shift first shift again okay. so in this sequence the percentiles will be arranged and then they will be given the ranks so these were the ranks in the shifts so not shift 1 so shift 1 or 2 yellow was shift 2 shift 2 rank was 1 shift 1 rank 1 
shift two rank two, shift one rank two. In this sequence, they will arrange. And now, according to percentile, you will get the ranks. So, whichever has higher percentile will have higher rank, lower percentile will have lower rank. And if the percentile is same, the rank will be same. Like here, the percentile is same, so both of them will get rank seven. Here, the percentiles are same, so both all three will get rank same. So this is the raw rank you will get after normalization. What is important is how to break between these. So that is done according to the prospectus in which it is given. In the prospectus, it is given that first of all, if it is in the same shift, if the exam is given by same shift students and they have same percentile, then how it will be calculated is first of all, see how many which has higher number of correct options. If the number of correct options are higher, the rank will be higher. If number of correct options are same, then the tie break will be according to less number of wrong options. If that is also same, then according to age, whichever is higher age. If that is also same, then MBBS percentage marks, which has higher marks, will get higher. So these tie breaks will be done according to that. Okay. So that is the basic criteria of doing the normalization. Now the important questions which are students going to ask and I am also in dilemma is that both of them have got the rank one in their respective shift but this is getting rank one and this is getting rank two so this is obviously wrong because the percentile of rank one will be higher if the more number of students have appeared if lesser number of students appeared the percentile obviously will be slightly lesser so how they will tackle this i don't know but this will be the problem only with the top one or two ranks only most of the students will not feel this problem Second important thing, the students are asking, Hamara Faida Hoga ya Nuksan Hoga. So this is not about advantage or disadvantage. This is the process. This has they have tried to make it fair that the students who have got difficult exam, they will obviously get lesser marks, but they should not be considered inferior to the other students who have got the easier exam. So that is the criteria how the normalization will be done. Okay, you understand? Now let me quickly explain it in Hindi. नॉर्मलाइजेशन में बेसिकली क्या करेंगे इसमें रैंक दोनों शिफ्ट के अलग अलग सीक्वेंस बनाएंगे अलग अलग रैंकिंग निकालेंगे जैसे नॉर्मली निकालते हैं शिफ्ट वन की शिफ्ट टू की उसके बाद उनकी परसेंटाइल्स भी लिखेंगे वन की टू की अब इन परसेंटाइल के हिसाब से एक डिसेंडिंग सीक्वेंस बनाई जाएगी ठीक है चाहे वो मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट के हैं चाहे इवनिंग शिफ्ट के हैं रैंक्स का कोई मैटर नहीं करता मार्क्स का कोई मैटर नहीं करता परसेंटाइल मैटर करती है परसेंटाइल के हिसाब से सीक्वेंस में लगा देंगे फिर उसके बाद उसके हिसाब से रैंकिंग ठीक है और टाई ब्रेक क्राइटेरिया जो है वो उन्होंने अपने प्रोस्पेक्ट्स में दे ही रखे हैं उसके हिसाब से वो टाई ब्रेक करेंगे अगर सेम रैंक आता है कई लोगों का ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाट इज नॉर्मलाइजेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू मी तो सबके लिए इक्वल लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड करने के लिए ठीक देयर आर ऑब्वियसली सम क्वेश्चन नीड टू बी आंसर्ड तो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट नॉर्मलाइजेशन आई होप अब आपको समझ आ गया एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज इज डू नॉट वेस्ट टाइम ऑन दैम लेट द पीपल डू हुज जॉब इज इज आप अपना एग्जाम दे चुके हो घर पे बैठो रेस्ट करो पढ़ाई करो घूमो फिरो ठीक है डू नॉट कीप ऑन वेस्टिंग टाइम ऑन दीज थिंग ऑल दी बेस्ट फॉर द रिजल्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच